All right, everybody, what's up? Mike here, head trader at True Trading Group. And on January 9th, I opened up a new swing trade. New swing trade, guys. I am long UGAS. UGAS is the leverage ETF long natural gas. All right, so as the price of natural gas goes up, as does UGAS. Now, with this video, I'm going to explain to you why I got long UGAS and what was the pattern that caused me to get into this trade and what I'm expecting um, with this swing trade. Okay, what my game plan is. Um, this pattern, this setup is a reversal signal that I call a failed breakdown. All right, it is a failed breakdown. Failed breakdowns are or can be really good reversal signals to at least catch a short term trend reversal. Now, sometimes this pattern will lead to a complete trend reversal, but at least oftentimes you'll get at least a short term trick, excuse me, trend reversal or bounce back. All right. Failed breakdowns occur when you have a very, very clear and obvious level of support that gets broken and violated briefly. So the stock will break below that support level and immediately get right back above it. That is what I call a failed breakdown. And when that occurs with a large increase in trading volume, oftentimes you will then see the stock move higher from that point as like value longs come in and they get long at that price point and then also shorts start to cover their positions off that failed breakdown and you usually have, all this, have the stock will start to float its way higher now it can lead to a complete reversal but sometimes you will at least get a short-term trend reversal in the case of natural gas i'm looking for a short-term trend reversal the overall trend in natural gas has been undoubtedly down for a very long time when i get to the daily chart i'll show you guys how much that natural gas has been beaten down and i'm reading today's action as a possible temporary bottom where i think we'll get a little bounce back off uh, of this level in natural gas now natural gas is affected by the weather so you're going to want to pay attention to weather reports weather reports will affect the demand for natural gas um you know extreme cold weather snowstorms in high populated areas, demand for natural gas will go up. All right. So you're going to want to pay attention to that. If you have, if, you know, the second week of January, it's 58 degrees in New York. Okay. It's, you know, 60 degrees in Chicago. That's going to cause the demand for natural gas to drop. Natural gas demand right now is low because so far the weather has been quite fair and quite comfortable across the country. We really haven't had real 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 bitter cold yet we really haven't had huge snowstorms um but if that starts to change that could cause a complete trend reversal in natural gas now i'm looking for right now based on technicals a short term reversal on natural gas but i'll need some help from the weather if it's going to be a long term trend reversal so it's important that you understand when you're trading natural gas or other commodities what fundamental factors affect the price of the commodity itself if you're going to be trading the leverage ETFs? The same thing goes if you're trading gold. All right, if you're trading gold, it's important for you, or I mean, some of the gold ETFs like JNUG or Nugget, um, it's important that you understand what affects the price of gold, all right, and what key um, events and world events and economic events could cause the price of gold to go up or down. All right, so natural gas is very weather related, so keep an eye on that. Let's get into the setup. I'm gonna go over with you guys a um, a technical, a failed breakdown. Before I get into this setup and this pattern, uh, you guys have one day left to get the 20% off the one-year all-inclusive membership. I told you, I'm gonna keep reminding you because tomorrow is the last day. After tomorrow night, the 20% discount is no more. Right now, we have a 20% discount on a one-year all-inclusive membership plan that gets you access to our chat room, gets you my text message trade alerts, gets you the email swing trade alerts, um, gets you all of the courses available on True Trading Group, which is beginner courses, advanced courses, option courses, and trader psychology courses, as well as 
instant access to all future courses and resources coming out down the road. It's an all-inclusive membership. So as, as I come out with new courses, you automatically get access to them. There's no upcharge or upsell, okay, to, to then get access to those new courses as they come out. You automatically have access to everything. These are the same courses, guys, that I, I wrote these courses myself. I went through a three-month training program at the hedge fund. I've taken that knowledge and experience and education, broken it down, and created the TTG courses that are available on the website. So that all-inclusive membership, you can get 20% off with coupon code SAVE20. Click the link on the description below and enter the coupon code SAVE20, and you'll get the discount Okay, up until tomorrow. Tomorrow night, that offer does expire. So this is your last chance. All right. Now let's get to this U gas chart and let's talk about natural gas and we'll go over the failed breakdown pattern and I'm going to help you guys identify some reversal signals. Here's the chart of U gas. Okay, remember U gas tracks the price of natural gas. You can see U gas has gotten absolutely decimated this year. Absolutely decimated this year. And then we had a, um, a split. Okay. Then we had a split here for you guys. But now let's go to the 15 minute chart. And I want to point out to you this level. Look at this support level on you guys. I mean, this is about as clear of a support level as you can get. That is important to this, to this setup. All right. You are going to want a very clear support level. It's important for it to be a clear support level for multiple reasons. You need. If for this, when this level breaks, you need longs to get stopped out and you need shorts to pile in or, or, or people that are selling to pile in. All right. And when that level breaks, you get that increase in volume and then it comes right back above that level. That's the potential reversal signal and is what I call a failed breakdown. All right. But again, it's got to be an obvious level. And you need it to be an obvious level because you need you need people's stop losses to trigger. All right. You really do need people's stop losses to trigger. That's part of, of what kind of triggers this move. And then what gets longs back into the trade. And then the selling pressure kind of eases as people start to recognize this as a possible bottom. And then people come in and get long against that new low. And then you get this floating type action in the stock. And that's what we saw today on you guys. But I also had a fundamental catalyst today, and this is why UGAS was on my watch list today. I was talking about UGAS because the natural gas report is, was today. It's important to know these things when these reports come out. If you're going to be trading commodities, if you're going to be trading oil, you better know when the oil report and the rig reports come out. If you're trading natural gas, you better know when the natural gas report comes out. That talks about a draw or build in the commodity and talks about the use the usage and the demand for the commodity. You need to know these things and know these dates and times. All right, Jason, one of the moderators of TTG, every single morning he goes over all of the economic data on the schedule so you know exactly what economic data is coming out on what day and at what time so you can be best prepared to take advantage of that economic data when it hits the wire. All right, and we were ready for the natural gas report today on you guys. Now, when I go to an intraday chart, we go in here to uh, the three minute chart. You can see here's that level. All right, you guys see that support level. Now, as I zoom in, here we are on you guys. We gapped down today. So, uh, so we were weak. Natural gas was weak today. Here's your gap down on, uh, on you guys. All right. Now, you guys starts to drift its way lower right before the natural gas report. The natural gas report comes out at 1030. So as we're drifting lower here, we're still above the support level, but we're drifting lower. The game plan today specifically stated. I'm looking for natural gas to break below this support level after the natural gas report is released. If it takes that level back immediately, it's time to get long. And that's when I'm going to get long and I'm going to look for this to be a swing trade. That was the game plan today. It was on the watch list. The watch list is in every single member's dashboard pre-market with the game plan. It, you know, it's sent out via email and then I cover it in chat. Jason covers it in chat in the morning pre-market. We go over the game plan. This is exactly what we talked about in chat and it's exactly what we got right here. You can see, okay, there's the natural gas report candle. You can see this real volatile candle with 
the real big increase in trading volume. All right. So as soon as the natural gas report was released, bang, we went right through that level and immediately popped back above it. And as soon as we popped back above that level, I got long you guys at 66.68 for a swing trade. My stop loss is the 65.50 area, which is this bottom tail. This bottom tail is 65.69. All right. So this little tail, that becomes my stop loss. Okay. So I've got, I, well, I took some profit, so I don't have 3,000 shares anymore. I've got a little over 2,000 shares, um, like 2,250. But I had 3,000 shares. I entered right here, guys, at 66.68. There's my stop loss. I'm risking about $1. All right. So there's the entry. And this is based off. This is based off of a failed breakdown. Here's your support level. We break below that level on um, that natural gas report. We immediately take it back. I'm like, there's my failed breakdown at this key support level. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get long. Now, the natural gas report was neutral. All right, it was neutral. It wasn't really a bullish report. It wasn't a bearish report. It was pretty neutral. And we shot down anyway through that support level and then popped right back up through it. So. I like that, that it wasn't really a bearish report. Um, we, I got the technical price action that I was looking for, pulled the trigger, long you guys, and you can see for the rest of the day, we just start to climb our way higher, all right? We start to climb our way higher. I took 25% of my position off the table right here as we got to the prior day's close. Just to be smart, 69.70 was the first take profit, guys, on 25% of my position, and I'm still long the bulk of the position. I'm still long 75% of my position on you guys, and I'm looking for natural gas to get above 2.17. So if you look at the natural gas futures, if you guys don't have futures, you can go to investing.com. They've got free real-time futures. Just type in NG. Um, it's really slash NG. You can just type in NG. And one of the options that comes up is we'll say natural gas futures. Right now, right now we're trading at 2.165. Uh, right now we're at 2.165. And I, I really want to see us get above 217. If we get above 217, I really don't see any more resistance in natural gas up until like over 220. If natural gas goes over 220, you are going to see you guys push probably up towards 80. All right. So let me pan this off. I'll show you guys the rest of the day. So here's how uh, you guys ended up finishing the day. We ended up making new highs, pushed all the way up, um, all the way up here. We got above 71 and then pulled in and kind of consolidated as we trade sideways here. This right here, was the test of 2.17. 2.17 on natural gas is resistance. You can see we pulled away from it on our first attempt and then we came back up here. And now we're just kind of sitting here in you guys as natural gas just sits here at 2.165, just below 217. So I'm looking to see can natural gas get above 217? And if it can, all right, I'm looking for you guys to make its way up towards 80. Now, my next take profit target on this is going to be around probably 72.50 on you guys. Where do I get that number from? Let's go to the daily chart. Let me zoom this in. You know, how am I coming up with these, these targets? And as I draw a line across this 72.50 area, I want you to notice this previous little pivot high. I want you to notice, okay, this the yellow line you see on my screen here, which is actually the trade line. This is the nine exponential moving average, which you can see, okay right here, right here, and right here has been an area of resistance. I can go back even further, and here's more resistance. I can go back further, here's more resistance. I can go back further, here's more resistance. Then as we go back even further, it was support. Then I go back further, it was support. Okay, look at how significant this nine exponential moving average has been for you guys. All right, so I'm thinking that if we can get above this X, this nine exponential moving average, and we can get above this previous pivot high, which lines up with that previous pivot low, that you guys can really start to make a move. Let me zoom this out so you guys can see a little bit here. 
all right? I'm thinking that you guys has a chance to get up, okay, into this like hot mid to high 80s and we can get a move up into this region. Okay, and then that's the move that I'm looking for. I'm looking for us to get up in there towards 80. But if we, if we now listen, if tomorrow you guys gaps above 72.50, 72.40, then I'm going to see if that 72.40, 72.50 becomes support and push off that level. If that's the case, I don't need to then take profits off at that point. All right, because then my my profit my profit then sits if we get back below 72.50, 72.40 because. If we got there today, I'd be taking profits off because it's resistance. But if we gap above it, it's no longer resistance. I now look for it to become support. If that support breaks, I then take more profit because it did not hold. But if we, if that area becomes support now, when we push up to 74, 75, then I'm going to hold on. I'm not just going to sell my, I'm not going to sell, take my next profit at, let's say 73. I'll let this push to 74, 75. Because I think if natural gas gets above 2.17, I think it's got room over 2.2. And that'll take natural you gas well into the mid 70s, possibly up to 80. And this will be a grand slam home run trade. Okay. Grand slam home run trade. Like I said, guys, I had three that I entered with 3,000 shares. I've still got 75% of the position. Um, you know, I got a real nice cushion on this trade right now, long from 66, 68. We're up around 71, um, and I'm looking for a lot more. All right, I'm looking for a lot more, but I've got to be smart. I got to be prudent. I can't just be greedy and arrogant with this because don't forget, natural gas is in a clear downtrend. I'm playing this as a potential failed breakdown reversal, but if I'm wrong, I can't be stubborn with this. I've got to get out of the position and manage my risk because, again, natural gas is in an overall clear downtrend. And if this is not a reversal, I can't be stupid with it. All right. But that's the trade idea. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated with what's going on. And again, keep an eye on the weather and we'll see if natural gas can get above 2.17. Take care, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll look to finish the week off strong.